I have a story about things well above your head. Mine too. No, I'm not questioning thinking ability. This story is about looking up above our heads to see what's up there. It is another stop in my Ohio, where together tonight we will uncover a treasure which few people knew was there. We will look up in awe. Situated palace-like on the Oberlin College campus is a nearly 100-year-old building which houses beauty. Inside this structure is a collection of art, much of it far older than the building which houses it. This is the Allen Memorial Art Museum of Oberlin College. In its several galleries are magnificent pieces of art, many donated by alumni of Oberlin College. But not only art on the walls, but art in the ceiling too. The ceiling beckons visitors to look up. We walk in and, whoa! Breathtaking to look up and see wall-to-wall -wall art 30 feet off the floor. Specialists are bringing the ceiling and walls at their highest point back to splendor. There is a cleaning underway. What is under a near century of grime is surprising. In a language of its own, the ceiling from 1917 is talking again. It's just telling about everybody's history and from years past to the present. Architects and artists of the Allen Memorial wanted to not only showcase wonderful art, they envisioned a building as art itself. So the plaster ceiling itself became, in a way, an artist's canvas. Most of the ceiling's near 100 years of dirt is washed away. The paintings have begun to live again. We have paintings both in oil and in plaster. And there's foliage designs, uh, animals, leaves, musical instruments, and then there's actually a poem. It is painstakingly slow work. Original artists took their time. On scaffolds 30 feet up, the cleaners, conservators, follow suit. They are touching museum areas no hands have touched since 1917. And so it's very exciting to uncover uh, the paintings that these artists put up here. Museums are understandably filled with people passionate not only about art in the building, but also the building itself. In the newest section of the museum in Oberlin, Allen Memorial Director Andrea Durstein talks of how art touches the human heart. Oh, I think it's something that speaks to, to everyone. I mean, someone can find something interesting to them, something that speaks to their life, I think, in, in an artwork. And we're really here to make that happen for people. Art was created for life, not just for museums. All of this is about life. The museum houses what talented people have created. But here, the house itself is art. So much so, conservators meticulously care for what they uncover their fingers touch the past. The old saying, if these walls could talk, and the ceiling too, what stories they would tell. This museum is filled with old stories long covered, but now old stories as fresh as today. We're getting really beautiful results now, and I'm really happy with how it looks. At the Allen Memorial Museum in Oberlin, conservators have uncovered treasures all knew were there, but treasures which had not been seen in full splendor for generations. Little by little, conservators bring a ceiling back to the way it looked when the art museum first opened its doors nearly a hundred years ago. On the campus of Oberlin College, the museum, which has 14,000 pieces of art, is open Tuesdays through Saturdays from 10 until 5 o'clock, Sundays from 1 until 5. There's no admission cost. I'm Leon Bibb.